It is just after 3 a.m. and we are heading out. Um, we have a two-day trip to Machu Picchu and we're getting picked up here in like a few minutes. I look exhausted because I am. Sweet. It is just after 3 a.m. and we are heading out. Um, we have a two-day trip to Machu Picchu and we're getting picked up here in like a few minutes. I look exhausted because I am. Sweet. But anyway, we are heading down. We're gonna catch a car ride, I guess, to the train station. Train over there, bus, train, bus, train. Go to Machu Picchu. Yeah. Well, we gotta hike before that, so. Here we go. Yeah, am I gonna get hit? Possibly by this man. No, he's good. All right, so things have moved pretty quickly. So at three o'clock, we left our place. At five o'clock, after a very fun uh, but stressful drive, we got to the train station. Uh, we immediately got on the train. The train was about an hour and some change. And we just got off the train next to the train track. Uh, we were meeting our guy who was on a different car. So we're gonna go up there and meet him. It is currently, I guess, 6.15, give or take. Uh, so we've been up for about three hours. And uh, if you're hearing any rushing water, that is this massive river right next to us. So we are about to uh, get things started here in just a little bit and get our hike going. We have started our trek. This is the 104 marker. We are on the bridge crossing over to the start of our trail. 
We have to go get registered first, because uh, not anybody can walk these trails, so we had to get all that set up. Alright, so we have passed the halfway mark of the halfway mark, which last time I'm told that's a quarter mark. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's exhausting, but it's gorgeous. Yes. But anyway, keep you posted. Like a fish on land. So we've reached the halfway mark. We just stopped to have a little bit of a lunch. We actually had lunch in there, which is pretty sick. Got a little bit of a history lesson on uh, Inca architecture uh, and agriculture actually, and, and kind of society and how it was built or why it was built. And obviously it's tied to Machu Picchu. The next half, I should say, is a little bit easier from what we're told, uh, a little bit less there. So we'll uh, try it back out, but uh, we're all in one piece, even though all those pieces are on fire and sweating. Come here. Get to the finish line. Finish strong. So we are at our next checkpoint, which is Sun Gate. We're able to see Machu Picchu right over there. So we're gonna finish our walk by getting pretty close to it. It's another 40 minutes or so. Um, but yeah. We made Sun Gate, I want to say six hours, carry this on, seven hours. So seven hours of hiking from the start to here. That's about almost 10 kilometers. We've done over 20,000 steps and we we're at this point. So now we just got to finish it off the last little leg. We did it! It's a little bit of rain. It's a little bit. A little bit. We're learning what things are and are not waterproof. Yeah. Let's go. We just got off the bus in Agos Caliente and our guide literally like sprinted away. So I'm like so far behind. Just trying to get there. So as if we didn't walk 12 kilometers already today. So we're back in our rooms now. Our stuff is soaked. So we are literally unpacking everything that we brought with us. 
and airing it out. Um, our buddy is with us, found a place down the street that does laundry in two hours, so we're gonna just get our clothes that we need to wear tomorrow, pretty much cleaned. Um, on another note, my passport has taken slight water damage and I'm a little worried that I won't be able to travel forward with it. So it's a little stressful, it's a little frustrating, but I've, con I've contacted the Canadian consulate in Lima in the hopes that they can help out. I don't know uh, what possible, so it's a little, it's a little much. Um, yeah, so anyway. Uh, we'll see if they are able to help and what we can do going forward because I'd hate for that to be an issue at this point, but I guess we'll wait and see. Hey, so it is Friday morning. Uh, we slept the night in Aguas Calientes uh, after our Machu Picchu hike. Things are a little bit better this morning. I think we were able to get some stuff dried and um, pack some bags up and whatnot. So morale is a little bit higher, but overall good times. Uh, I think everyone got a little bit of a better night's sleep. So that helped. So anyway, we were back to Machu Picchu today, actually going into Machu Picchu to uh, take a look around, get a little bit of a tour and whatnot. So uh, we'll show you a little bit about that and our travels home. I guess by home, I mean back to Cusco. So we just finished our visit of Machu Picchu. It was about four hours, give or take, four and a half hours. Uh, we did the first half or so with our guide and then the second half just on our own, which was kind of nice because we got to stop and take a lot of photos and video and stuff like that. You'll probably see video of it. Um, and if you follow us on socials, we'll post photos, but like, I don't think it does it justice. Machu Picchu itself is gorgeous and amazing to see, but like, the mountains around it alone are mesmerizing like it's wild we'll probably talk a little bit more about it but i just wanted to give a quick update as we wrap it up here we are going to get bus tickets and head back uh into town and then go from there but yeah 
wild. <laughs> Would you order it again? Um, probably not. It was good, kind of like one and done. Just kind of like a small land bird, I guess, or like a rabbit. Maybe I've never had a rabbit, but I assume it's a lot of dark meat and a lot of bones. Fair. Good seasoning, though. Yeah.